Welcome to Home Brewing TV. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Instarints by Liquid Integrity. Stick with me. First off, I want to let you know that I did not purchase the Instarints. Uh, the folks at Liquid Integrity did send this to me. I let them all know up front uh, that I will be giving this an honest review. They said fine, sent it to me. So let's see what is in this box. We've got a page of instructions. Checking those out in a little bit. And a fully assembled instrument. So, what do we got going on here? Um, it's fairly light, I'd say two to three pounds. Um, looks like it's all plastic. Um, not a bad looking product. It does look a little cheap, be, being all plastic. Um, on the back we've got the supply and waistline. Those are both labeled. On the top it's, uh, it looks like we can lock this in position just by turning it. Okay. Uh, let's get in there, I guess. Uh, what do we got to do? First thing. Take off the bottom. We've got uh, four rubber feet. And the plastic bottom comes off. Uh, remove the battery holder. It's in there with some Velcro strips and connected with a 9 volt connection. This is an odd looking thing. Uh, insert the 8 bit. Insert the eight AA batteries. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've got eight. Hold on. All right. I do have eight. Thank goodness it's near Christmas. We stocked up. All right. We are going to be inserting these eight batteries. And... And eight. All right. And then we will put them back in. Okay. Definitely a snug fit. Doesn't seem to want to snap into place. I guess that's why the Velcro straps in there. All right. Well, I'll hold it down and I will strap it in place. All right. There we go. Let's get the lid back on. Uh, as for rinsing, we are going to. Take the inlet line, which is the longer of the two, and insert it into a water vessel of my choice. And we're going to place the drain one. Okay, I, I got it. Okay, well, let's flip this thing over. Oh, so the batteries already came loose in there. Hopefully that stays. I'm going to turn this to be unlocked. Click. Uh, or oh, sorry, clean. Uh, that's for cleaning. Okay, so I just I need a glass. Oh. So you get your beer glass. I hear sound. Here comes the water. Look at that. 
It's rinsing my glass. And see how much. Apparently, this needs to have. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not pumping into the vessel. It's going to be using gravity because it's just overflowing now. So let's try that again. There it goes. All right, does what it says. Um, a couple things. Let's see what uh, let's see what rinsing other types of glasses is like. What I'm going to do is take this unit uh, to a festival that our. Uh, uh, our local homebrew club goes to, uh, the Brewligans. They uh, are going to be serving some of our beers and we'll put this thing to a test. So it'll be running for seven hours over at that festival and we'll see how it fares there. Well, here we are. <laughs> Booth is all set up. Say hi guys. Hey. How's it going? A couple of washing stations. We'll see how that goes today. say it was a big hit. Um, we, everybody who came up to that booth wanted to use the thing, wanted to know where they could get one. Um, I would definitely say it's worth the money. The uh, battery life, still going strong. If I were to run it now, I think, uh, yeah, it's still running. Um, it, it was such a convenience and a unique tool to have at, uh, at our booth. A few of the things that I do have concerns with, um, and this was brought up by somebody else, I, I don't particularly know much about metals. The uh, black screws on the front, they were saying there was some sort of uh, black oxide. I, I can't tell you one way or the other. Uh, apparently black oxide will rust very fast. These haven't. They looked like they were when we were using them, but they haven't rusted at all. I don't know what they're actually made of. Uh, if they are black oxide, I would suggest they use a stainless steel screw. Um, again, I don't know if that is actual black oxide or not. Um, the locking mechanism, while it does lock it, it, it still can be activated. I don't know if they can improve on that. Um, there needs to be some sort of lip put on here because as you saw when we were using it at the uh, event that water and beer and stuff is spilling all over the table. If they put some sort of lip that could catch that, you know, as you were pulling this off, I think that would improve the design a little bit. As for the battery coming loose, um, now that I've had the batteries in there for a while, they seem to stay in there now, so I think it was just a matter of getting them in there, um, letting those things stretch out a little bit, but the batteries seem to stay in place now. Uh, the pump works really well. I don't have very many complaints about this system. Uh, it does exactly what you would expect a uh, portable glass washer to do. Um, it's it's uh, really nice. So I guess in conclusion, 
Um, I have to give the Instruments by Liquid Integrity a thumbs up. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a cool little device to have at any party. People love rinsing glasses with it. It rinses the glasses very, very well. Uh, it does have a kind of a steep price tag, and it's $129.99, I believe, on their website. Um, but if you're in a club or the club's buying one, that's a drop in the bucket. Those are th This is a huge tool to have at any kind of event and people will be flocking to your booth just to use it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the review of the Instaurants, please give us that thumbs up uh, and share the video with anybody you think might benefit from it. If this is your first time with us, welcome. Uh, we do product reviews, brew days, I do a home brew Wednesday once a week just to kind of give you a little heads up of what's going on in my life. Uh, if you're uh, interested in that stuff, hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, uh, there's a bell icon in there. If you hit that, it'll notify you anytime those videos come out. If you have any questions whatsoever about the instruments, go ahead and put those in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. Uh, if I don't have the answer, I will contact uh, in uh, Liquid Integrity here, and, and we'll get the answer for you as soon as possible. Uh, that's all I got for you. So until next time, keep brewing, my friends. Thank you.